What's going on guys? Matt with Paints Custom Carpentry. Uh, filming a video today about some dust collection uh, problem solving if you don't have a dust collector. So if you've ever used the, the Wall 735 or any planer for that matter, you know it's going to throw a lot of chips and sawdust at you. Well, I have a small shop, only one outlet in my entire two-car garage. And I can't run this and a dust collection at the same time. So what I did was uh, made a little dust collection makeshift, if you will. So what I did, and I got a list for you guys. Let me pull it up here. I'm just gonna run down. This is a four inch adjustable duct work and it's an elbow, so it bends. This is a this is eight foot of four inch aluminum flexible pipe you can get the aluminum ductwork or this is just wrapped so uh, that's kind of interchangeable whatever you want to do this will go over the actual dust collection port on your dewalt that comes with it then if you come here there is a this is a four inch to three inch uh, reducer that goes from the ductwork right here that that fits in and everything is held on by these uh, five inch clamps that just screw in right so it comes out goes down all that comes right here and it goes in to your brute 40 gallon trash bag uh, you can get a 32 gallon uh, whatever fits you but the 40 gallon works really well and then open it up and you have the power tech i think that's the 15 micron dust bag so essentially you can just have this going straight into an empty trash can and it'll collect it just fine but you're still going to get the dust particles um, and it's going to be a mess cleaning it out every time with like this All you have to do is empty out that bag and go on. keep going So that snaps down and then I would recommend going to get some bungee cords uh, Mine broke so I have this ratchet strap works just fine and you strap it down ratchet it up cut it on send your boards uh, the only downfall to this setup is after uh, about an hour or two of playing boards, you will have to change that bag out. It, like I said, it fits in this 40 gallon trash can pretty easy, but with such a small bag, you will have to change it every hour or so. But it's just a good alternative if you're like me, small shop, don't have a lot of power, only have one outlet. And this is a 15 and planer so it sucks up a lot of power so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the setup how it went how it turns out kind of a few mess ups that i did so y'all don't have to make them all right here we go So even though I use these pipe clamps on here and you can just screw them on, they're very secure, but I like to put a little bit of duct tape or even some air duct tape around it. You can use whatever you want, but it's just for extra measures, something I like to do. And uh, right here, you'll see I use a four inch hole saw bit and that fit perfect on that four inch duct and it just makes for a seamless fit, real tight. That make just make sure no dust gets out of there.
Remember I told you I'd show you all my mistakes. So here's the major one I made in this whole build. I didn't check to make sure my connections were all tight. If you look right above the trash can, as soon as the board goes through, you'll see the wood chip start to fly out. And I tightened the clamp on a little too tight, cut a hole in this air duct, and I didn't use that duct tape on both ends like I should have. So just use it as a little tip. Make sure everything's tight and secure before you start planing the boards. And I just want to show y'all an example of the difference that this small little upgrade can make. This is what it looks like, and this is how many chips come out. And this is just a small 2x8 board pine uh, on the number 2 setting. So that's what it is without the dust collection. And this is what it looks like with the dust collection. So, so much more convenient, so much more efficient. At the end of the day, it's just safer on your lungs. Um, everybody knows any kind of sawdust or anything that goes in your lungs that's not supposed to be there is bad for it. So, if you can't afford a dust collector, if your shop allows it, go get one. Like I said, mine doesn't for using this planer. But <clears throat> this is a great alternative for me. The other mistake I made is right here. Every time I'm playing in these boards, you'll see when I zoom in, there's a little electric shock. And I think that's just because the aluminum air duct is making contact with that metal as it's going through. But y'all let me know. And if y'all stuck around this long, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what y'all would like to see next. Thank y'all.